Hey guys, Ray here. I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, somebody on the Facebook group asked if it's possible to export as an animated GIF from Shotcut. Now, originally I thought probably not. However, what I discovered was you actually have that option in here. Um, as you probably have already seen, you've got all these different codecs that are built in here. And you'll notice you can even export as a, a series of still JPEGs and PNGs, but you don't see animated GIF in here anywhere. Well, here's the thing. If you look in your formats, you'll see that actually it is in here. If I can find it, there it is. GIF right there. So what you have to do is you have to just choose GIF and you're gonna want to make some adjustments here, disable the audio. And of course the codec here, um, you're gonna want to change this as well to GIF because it's not a preset format. And uh, once you have all of these things set, you don't have to mess with uh, too many things. It's going to do this automatically. Now, of course, right now, uh, I'm gonna set this to a constant bit rate. This is gonna be a huge file because it's 1920 by 1080. And um, you know, it's, uh, I'm not even sure how long this thing actually is, but it's you know 10 seconds or so, which is for a GIF, uh, that's a pretty big file, especially when it's at 2997. So you may wanna lower that down. Typically GIFs are somewhere in like the 15 frames per second area. Um, so we're gonna try that, we're gonna try 15. And that's just gonna make it, give it that kind of more choppy animated GIF look, but it'll make the size of the file much lower. And we can of course cut this down as well if you wanted to do half of this, um, you know, or even just uh, maybe bring it down to, uh, 1280 by 720, which is a, a lower HD format. Um, that's big for a GIF, but uh, should be perfectly fine. You know, we can still export this out and we can see how it works. So then all we have to do is hit encode file. And you can see here, it, it asks for MP4, but it's going to export it as a, an animated GIF. So we're gonna give this the name test.gif and we'll put it on the desktop here and we'll hit save. Okay, and you can see it's already done here. You can see it finished. So we're gonna to go to the desktop and we're gonna take a look at test.gif and there it is. Okay, and you can see, there you go. It's an animated GIF um, with, with the associated animated GIF quality, of course. And actually it's really not that bad. It's, um, especially for one that's this large, the quality is actually pretty darn good. But yeah, so uh, that's how we animate or how we export as an animated GIF. Very exciting to, to know that we can do that from here. Um, that just opens up a world of possibilities that I hadn't even thought of. So uh, I thank you guys for asking that question because it made me look in here. So I hope that helps. And if you have any more questions, of course, please feel free to ask and we'll be glad to answer them for you.